a very warm welcome to Shomu's Biology Academy and this is going to be a microbiology lecture series video. So, the endospore formation, okay, there are seven stages and we are going to take seven hours for that. Okay, so endospore formation is a kind of, you can say, easy and complicated cycle at the same time. So, let's say if the bacteria are staying happy in their environment and they are dividing in a normal state, but uh, what happened that suddenly environmental condition uh, started getting harsh and there is no nutrition available around them so that is a starvation starvation and now what is going to happen is we know that bacteria can sense their surroundings right so this bacteria are going to sense surrounding that it is starvation and now i have to do something for myself the protein which is going to help them in sensing okay the protein which are going to sense this surrounding that it is a condition of starvation is called as here wait a second okay here called as spore zero a okay this particular uh, trans you can say transcription protein is going to help here and when there is starvation let's say it leads to the sporulation sporulation so this particular protein is to, or you can say factor here is just going to come and say uh, listen i have sensed that there is a starvation and you have to uh, buck up and just save the most precious things you have okay so after when the environmental condition gets normal you can again do the binary fission and you can say uh, reproduce so they just sense it and says to the bacteria that save yourself and in that condition after the sensing it the bacteria start getting replicated replicate what the dna okay the dna in them is uh, going to start replicating themselves and this you can call as zero stage because not uh, any morphological as you can see con uh, changes are going on here so DNA start getting replicate as you can see here now there are two replicated DNAs but not in a proper state as you can see okay actually they are started replicating now on the very first stage what is going to happen that exact filament formation is going to happen but before that can you see this okay these are the septa and this septa is formed by you can see there are different kind of as I say protein and factors are going to help in here and this particular layer F T S Z okay they are going to help uh, in the formation of ring you can say Z ring okay so both the side the septa started to occur okay so both the side in normal cell division also you may have seen this particular uh, protein or you can say cytoplasmic protein which are going to help in the septum formation but that case the septum is going to form exactly in between but in the case of endospore formation there are two septum are going to form in the both of the side both of the end side okay so this is as you can see in both sides after that what what is going to happen in third stage only one of them is going to stay and other is just going to disappear uh, it's the bacteria let them decide what they need to keep with them and uh, what they need to remove okay so anyone if, uh, is going to stay with them and at the same time in first stage exile filament formation has started as you can see it is stretching right here also two proteins are going to help a uh, very first protein is called as rec a another is another is called as b4 you can say a protein protein okay so both of this uh, proteins are going to help how this rec a as you can see are going to see there are both side have the origin site right and this rec a is going to come here and bind with this origin site so that it can helps to uh, they are like this okay so they help this rec a proteins help to just you can say uh, stretch them okay so it just uh, get uh, uh, unfold and unfold and at the both polar region this 
particular D4A protein is here. Okay, so both polar region have this D4A. And now this REC8 just going to, you can say there is attraction between two and just going to go to both the opposite side. And this is how it is going to divide. Okay. And as you can see in third, second stage, the septum has formed. You can see the plasma membrane has actually uh, the kind of divided and the septum has formed. And now you have this four spore spore because it's not a proper spore right now and this mother cell okay mother cell as you can see there are many less amount of DNA present in four spore but what we want at that we want to save more and more amount of DNA material okay so that it would be beneficial for the bacteria for uh, for, for the steps so here something is going to happen from which the bacteria present in the mother cell sorry the dna present in the mother cell okay just going to come to the four spore and here what happens if this is a sad ring you say one particular kind of enzyme you can say dna translocase translocase okay this enzyme is going to happen and translocate much amount of DNA to this four spore. Okay, so from here it just went here, and as you can see in a third stage, there are more DNA present on this side and less on that side. So this is how DNA translocates help in that. Now in third stage, there is engulfment of four spore. When I say engulfment, this mother cell, as you can see, are engulfing the four spore. Just consider it as a amoeba, amoeba taking their food. How amoeba take their food? If this is their food, they are just going to spread their pseudo leg. Okay, this is the amoeba. They are just going to spread their pseudo leg and just take it inside them. And, and there is a vacuum that just take it. Remember, this is exactly how a, you can take an example of phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. How our immune cells just uh, take bacteria in them? Just like that. Okay, so this same kind of uh, process is going to happen here and the mother cell is going to take and engulf the four spore and after that something this kind of like you can see with the two membrane why because one of actually the four spore have and the second one is the mother cell which have engulfed it so there are two membrane now okay and in particular stage okay that is in the starting of this fourth stage the mother cell has starting getting disappear as you can see see uh, and there is going to be some uh, morphological changes in this particular stage as you can see there is a DNA is properly get circulated see this is some exylon here DNA properly circulated and the mother uh, DNA whichever is left is just going to disappear and at the same time in the later stage of this uh, fourth stage cortex formation has occurred and you know that is cortex formation that means heat resistance okay, So cortex formation has occurred now besides that at the same time Okay, they are going to release some enzymes and when you go to fifth stage There is a code synthesis that means they are going to release the proteins and enzymes needed to formation of food so then if that bacteria is going to have the exoporium as we know it may or may not have this exoporium so if they're going to have this also so they are going to release protein needed for that so formation of both of this layers you can say has started in this particular fifth stage and in sixth stage completion of coat synthesis and this exoporium and all the you can say uh, remaining layers have completed here so coat and the exposed exoporium has now completed the synthesis of it has completed and besides that because this whole layer thing has completed okay it the heat resistance is going to be increased and the last stage you can say this is the sixth stage and in the seventh the lysis of sporangium is going to happen and the spore is going to liberate but before that here remember the dp colony can ca plus plus yes the mother cell okay have this both and they are going to give it to this okay so they are just going to give all the thing they have to this endospore so they can save themselves and further go and carry on okay so 
calcium and dp colonic acid acid okay it's given by mother to the you can say spore and now the spore just you can say comes out from it the mother cell got burst and the spore comes out and this is a free spore now so there is whole structure there are four uh, and these are going to present in the core so there are core there are cortex coat exoporium and now this is a free spore when the environmental condition go back to normal again they are going to convert themselves into vegetative state again and for that we have a kind of you can say three uh, kind of state in that the transformation of dormant spore into active vegetative cell seems almost as complex process as porulation now you may think these are only three steps there were seven stages but no they uh, this particular thing is as complex as it so if we go further for the three stages as i say activation germination and outgrowth very first step uh, it prepares spores from germination and usually results from treatment such as heating any environmental stimuli okay if we say environmental stimuli is going to you can say sense again that okay now i think environmental conditions are going normal and it can go back to the you can say so it is going to re enter in that vegetative state and for that there is a very first stage which is activation so environmental stimuli as i say here uh, mostly heating and all can germinate things now in germination what is going to happen the breaking of dormant spores has been started so and who is going to help here you can say the membrane remember the four spore here with the membrane has okay they have uh, some kind of proteins proteins which are going to help in that let's say some factors or you can say the gene called a b c gene okay or you can say they are tri cis tronic operon okay operon so in the cell membrane these are the very uh, kind of opera or you can say tricysteric proteins are present and this is the operon and on that particular side there is a b c gene present and these are going to trigger the germination okay so they just trigger the germination and because of that the spore started swelling okay the spore is going to start swell and it is going to first regain the water okay water is start getting regain the one remember they have desiccated all the water so the water has started regaining in it and the swelling of spore is going to happen this going to rupture and the absorption of spore coat okay this as you can see the water is going to come in and from it and because of all this thing okay there is going to be loss of resistance to heat and other stress why water is regaining okay so it is not a uh, desiccated dry one anymore they have this moisture in that now so it is going to lose the resistance again heat and heat and other stress they also going to uh, lose the refractivity and release of the spore components all the spores for example the cortex and the coat the exosporium all is all are going to remove by like one by one and it is going to increase in metabolic activity remember when they were uh, endospore they were non metabolic so they are first they have to gain their metabolic activity again now you may say how they are going to do it okay so at this particular stage they don't need uh, protein synthesis okay because they already have the enzyme they need it okay so many normal metabolites or nutrition can trigger the germination after activation it could be either amino acid or sugar Okay, so germination has been done. After that, the third stage, which is outgrowth. Okay, so the uh, endospore is actually going to uh, convert themselves into the road shape. Uh, you can say kind of road shape. Okay, so the spore protoplast makes new components because now they are metabolically active. The ribosome is going to work again, and they are going to start with the protein synthesis. Synthesis, and how? So, sorry how it is going to happen okay because remember the dna repair enzymes repair enzyme so very first what is going to happen the mrna 
okay is going to work because here mrna is the main feature so the de novo synthesis synthesis is going to happen and then the transcription and translocation and the dna repair enzymes are going to work and after that because here now we they have mrna dna the protein synthesis have to work properly okay so ribosome works again and there is protoplasm and all the things are going to start the metabolic activities and emerge of the remains four coat all the things remaining are just going to develop again and into the active bacterium state so you can see the all the things are going to remove and then there is the rod shaped kind of bacteria as you can see just going to come out so this is the whole process of you can say germination of this a sport vegetative state again and i hope you got the information what you needed this was all about endospores so thank you if you like our video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get more and more of this kind of video in future thank you